today we are going to discuss about types of relation and there are five types of relation that is empty relation universal relation reflexive relation symmetric relation transitive relation and our types of relation is based on relation on set a this we already discussed in our previous lecture that relation on set a is nothing but any subset of a cartesian product a cross a so now let us come to first topic a first type of relation empty relation as the name suggests empty empty means what nothing so the relation in which no element of a is related to a that is let us take an example a is equal to 1 2 3 and we are defining a relation r is a ordered pair x comma y such that y is equal to 3x plus 2 for all mm. now let us first draw a table x y is equal to 3x plus 2 mm. so y 3 into 1 plus 2 3 into 1 is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 3 into 2 plus 2 6 plus 2 is 8 3 into 3 plus 2. 3 into 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Now let us do the mapping. A to A. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So I am doing mapping. So our input is 1 x. And our output is 5. There is no 5 here. X our input is 2. And our output is 8. The set doesn't contain eight. The input is three. The output is eleven. No. So here, what is happening is the element of A has no relation to set element of set A. No element of set A is relating with the set A elements. This type of relation is called empty relation. That means. there is no relation existing between any elements so if you want to write mathematically it can be written as r is equal to null set subset of a cross ea this is with regard to empty relation universal relation a relation r on set ea is called universal relation only when all the elements of a cross a is present in r that means relation r should have exactly what all the elements it has in a cross a means every element of a cross a should be present in r only then we call that relation as universal relation the mathematical definition of universal relation is r is equal to a cross a or a cross a is equal to r dear friends universal relation is nothing but whatever elements you have got in the cartesian product of a cross a all those elements should be present in r then that relation is called as universal relation now let us go to three important types that is reflexive relation the relation r on set a is called reflexive only when x comma x belongs to r for all x belongs to a means reflexive when you stand in front of a mirror you see your reflection the reflection of your face if if i kevin stand here 
in the mirror i can't see shivraj kumar or rajnikanth or dhanush or vijay i can see only my face over there i can see only my reflection over there same thing when when we call a relation as reflexive relation what input you have given you should get the same output you should get the same reflection then only that relation is called as reflexive relation that is if i stand there in front of a mirror i should get only my image or my reflection over there and I, if i stand here and i can i can't expect the image of a rajinikanth or a dhanush or a vijay or surya over the mirror so when we say reflexive relation the relation on set a is called reflexive only when x comma x belongs to r for all x comma x belongs to a for example a is equal to 1 2 3 then the reflexive relation the relation will be reflexive only when 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 only then we call this uh, relation as reflexive relation that is 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 it has to be same the input has to be same as the output when that type of relation is found that relation is called as reflexive relation then we call discuss about symmetric symmetric relation is very simple that is if x comma y belongs to r this implies y comma x also belongs to r for all x comma y belongs to a i'll give i'll explain it in simple words our input and our output should be from set a and we say a relation is symmetric if we have got x comma y in set r then there should be its opposite also y comma x in set r let us take one example let us take same example a is equal to 1 2 3 and our relation r is equal to 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 1 comma 3 3 comma 1 see here we have got 1 2 and 3 we have got x comma y 1 comma 2 then we should have its opposite also 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 now we have got 1 comma 3 and we should have 3 comma 1 then only this relation is called as a symmetric relation for example here there is no 3 comma 1 can we say this relation is symmetric no we can't say this relation is symmetric because there is x comma y but there is no y comma x that is 1 comma 3 is there there should be 3 comma 1 also so symmetric relation is nothing but when we have x comma y we should also should have y comma x this is symmetric relation now we are going to discuss about transitive relation this transitive relation is very simple x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r this implies x comma z belongs to r let us take one example a is equal to 1 2 3 relation 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 1 comma 1 i'll write one more relation 1 comma 3 3 comma 2 1 comma 2 dear friends transitive relation is there should be in the r x comma y should be also there y comma z should be also there then what happens is we should also should have x comma z also in the r see this example there is 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 
and we should have that is x comma y y comma z now we should have x comma z that is 1 comma 1 is here so here compare x comma y is there y comma z is there x comma z is there now here as we compare x comma y is there y comma z is there x comma z is there for a relation to become transitive it should have x comma y and y comma z then the same relation should also con should contain x comma z so here see here we have got x comma y 1 comma 2 and here again 2 comma 1 we have got then we are also getting x comma z 1 comma 1 similarly here we have got 1 comma 3 x comma y y comma z 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 so 3 3 is getting cancelled and 1 comma 2 we are getting x comma z so when we have x comma y and y comma z in r then we should also should have x comma z in r then only the relation becomes transitive the last one is very simple equivalence relation equivalence relation that is if a relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive when relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive then that relation is called as equivalence relation a relation if it is reflexive symmetric and transitive then that relation is called as symmetric relation this relation is a equivalence relation let us check see 1 comma 1 is there so it hmm. so let us write one more cartesian 2 comma 2 so now this relation becomes a symmetric sorry a equivalence relation because 1 comma 1 is there 2 comma 2 is there so reflexive over 1 comma 2 is there 2 comma 1 is there symmetric is also satisfied 1 comma 2 is there 2 comma 1 is there 1 comma 1 is also there so it is satisfying all the three conditions so like this relation we call as a equivalence relation so it is satisfying reflexive relation it is satisfying symmetric relation it is satisfying transitive relation so a relation which is transitive symmetric and reflexive is called as equivalence relation so this relation is becoming an equivalence relation dear friends do, i hope you understood empty relation that is uh, our a cross a it will be a null set subset of a cross a there is really no element containing in our relation set a relation set is equal to cartesian product and here we have got the formula for reflexive it should be same it should be vice versa it should transfer from x to y y to z and x to z so this is the types of relation to remember these three simple formulas i'll teach you a small trick for reflexive you should have both same reflection what you stand you get as a reflection for symmetric you should get vice versa huh? what goes front should comes back that is x comma y means y comma x for transitive as it is there in the word itself transfer transact from x to y y to z then x to z so this is in a simple nutshell you can remember for a empty relation our relation is a null set and null set is also a subset of a a cross a universal relation is exactly the relation of a cartesian product for reflexive both the elements should be same for symmetric it should be vice versa for transitive it should transfer from x to y y to z and from x to z so in the next lecture we shall solve problems based on this